welcome back to my channel okay this wig is from wildafrican.com one of my favorite places to shop from i am so in love with their hair because they basically do everything for you you can get the wig size to fit your head you can get the knots bleach i mean the whole nine this wig is natural and it's 18 inches long and it's kinky straight and i love it because it feels like my hair yes baby inside the wig you got your regular combs uh one in the front one in the back one on each side um these knots are bleached so i'm showing y'all yes it comes with an elastic band already on the wig but of course i am going to uh take that off and replace it because i'm going to size it because y'all know i got the little people head what not for real <laughs> Okay, so my ball cap is already done. I didn't like make no corn rolls or nothing like that. I just washed my hair, blow dried it, and put it in the plait, and then just tucked it under. And we're gonna see what we can do with it. So since my ball cap is already done, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the excess lace off. And I didn't do no um, extra extraordinary ball cap method. This is just a regular OG, the original ball cap with just the ball cap. That's it. No holes, no sewing, no anything. Super simple. I'm going to pull it back far until I think that where my wig is going to stop. And we'll go from there. Y'all know what's up. Stop playing. So how was y'all Christmas? I didn't do much. Get the kids and the grandkids, yes. What they needed, and that was a wrap. Make sure you clean them edges with some alcohol if you are using glue, because you know it will not stick good if you don't. Now I am going to be applying my MAC concealer with my elf foundation and it's like two different colors i'm using deep dark deep on one and ebony rich ebony on the other and i just mixed it up try to make the perfect color to get it close to my skin as possible you might have to play around with it to try to get the color that fits you And it's still kind of dark. Let me see. I'm going to take this. I'm like running out of this color. For real. Just. Here she is. I absolutely love um, Wild African. This is the kinky straight again, and it just feels like it's my texture. It's not too, 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 too straight. Let's see. And this is like the thickest I've had it in a while because I wanted to do me a ponytail. I wanted to see how it is. So I left it kind of full. I did resize it. Y'all know I got a peanut head. Okay. Ah, see, look. And it's still a little bit too big. Do -do -do. Go spawn glue. And I am actually going to start at my temple. And I do that because it seems like when you put the glue right here first, and then by the time you end up down here with the glue, this is totally dry and you still have to wait 
a few moments for this to dry to catch up with it. So I start here since it's always thicker down here and I end up here and everything melts evenly. So let's start down here. Cause this is the part that's like really holding on to the lace like. And I'm taking this video with my new phone so I can't wait to see how it come out. It seems like the video is going to be a little clearer. Now, in a few moments, it will all be evenly clear and I could pull it down. So, as you can see, I only use one layer of glue. Um, you can use two layers, you can use three layers, you can use four layers, depending on how long you want your wig to stay on. Me, um, I do my hair every single week and I only plan on keeping it on a week before I change and do another video. So what I'm going to do is I just did one layer of glue and I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of holding spray. And this, it does the same thing. It sticks just as long. It's just that the removal process is a lot easier. It's not so much caked up stuff. So let's go like that. That's it. <laughs> just for a few seconds. So, now that I got that laid down, I am going to go ahead. I'm still trying to decide if I want to do baby hair or not. Since my edges came out kind of good, since it looked like it's coming out the scalp, I'll have to do a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and tie it down just for a, full, a few minutes, just in case I don't want to do no baby hair. So, tie it down for about 10 minutes. I still don't even know what I'm going to do with it. I think I'm going to do a ponytail. We'll see. I'll be right back. Uh, Yeah, we need baby hair. I got to see how we're going to do it, though. So I decided to do a little ponytail at the top and then I just had like some uh, some hair on a track that I had did a ponytail previously and I just took this since it was just in a bag laying around just wrap this around give it some color instead of it just being you know just black 
And now I'm gonna just make some curls on the ends. And I'm not making them like really tight. I'm just giving it a little, uh, you know, a little, little life. So I'm just running my hands through it. And this is what I did. So please support your girl, give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe, hit the notification button so you can stay up to date and make sure to check out the link in the description for my other channels.